Hey, how's it going everybody? Um, just wanted to go over a couple things um, when adding filaments to your bamboo studio. I was doing some mistakes that I'm sure a lot of people are doing as well because they're having issues with the filaments not showing up on their AMS. And a lot of people also had questions as far as, you know, what filament, you know, when you slice it and then when you hit print plate, you know, it gives you that option. Oh, here, let me cancel this. Okay. But, uh, but yes, I'm going to go over all those questions, adding filaments properly and the way you might be doing it wrong. So the way I was doing it, you know, would delete all those, say you, you don't have an AMS or if you do, it's the same way. But I would come here, you know, say I got a new PLA and it was a different brand. Um, I would just try to select the closest one. Come here, mess with my settings. It's 220. If you can calculate the flow rate, usually you can go up a little bit and it's still fine. If if it's not printing properly or it's you know the layers are getting too thin, then you might need to go down. But there's a way to find that out. But anyways, I would just you know change my profiles and I would hit save and then say you know just off brand. And okay, cool. Or whatever brand it was, I would just hit okay. And then I would come back here and there it is, you know, user preset. I was thinking my, my filament got saved, but that's just a print profile. Um, that is not an actual filament. Um, it's filament settings. I'm not sure the, the exact name, but that's not the actual filament. And if you come to your device, if you do have an AMS and you try to add, you know, that filament that you just added, it's not in here. So people are like, well, you know, my filament's not showing up. And I think a lot of them were having the same issue. Um, so now let me show you the proper way. You come back over here. You can uh, sorry, click here. You can scroll down. You can click on here and see your custom filament. See there's no off-brand filament. Or you can click here as well. And then you can add a custom filament. So we're going to select the vendor. Uh, since it's not in there, we're just going to hit off-brand. We're going to type PLA. And then basic, you know, or you can put silk, marble, whatever the description of that filament is. And then we're going to go ahead and... So if you already have that filament and you're just tweaking it, you could find it. But again, we haven't added a filament yet, so it's not going to be in there. We're going to copy the preset since we made it with the P1S. You would have to make different print profiles for every machine that you're using. So I would select that one and then now we find it here. So that's the print profile that this filament is going to be added under. So then you create, or actually it's the parent and it's using that print profile. It's kind of weird, but I can explain. Off brand PLA basic. So we're going to hit, see this is kind of confusing. I think if it's the same brand or I'm sorry, if it's the same name, it, it kind of gives you this. So then what it'll do is if you hit OK, it'll display the new filament with the print profile that it was created, which I don't particularly like. So the workaround would be to name your print profile something different than your actual um, your actual filament. But let's, you know, we'll just add something to it to make it different. And then now if we create it, it's not going to give us that. And if we come over here and we look for the... So now here it is, and it does tell you what it is. It's going to tell you PLA, basic, you know, or whatever you put in that description. Um, if you were to name it the same, it would also give you, here, it'll tell you this. It would put it with this whole thing, which to me is a bit annoying. So, um, yeah, make sure you don't name them the same so you don't get that on there. But now that's an actual filament, and we can actually... So if we go back here and edit it, and then we can find uh, our print profile, you can delete the print profile, and it will keep the filament. Uh, and then that filament will have the profile that you selected. So now, if you go to your AMS, and you look for the filament, uh, there it is. And it'll add, you know, the exact profile, everything correctly. All you got to do is add your color. I think if you set the default color, then it would automatically select it too. Um, but yeah, you can hit confirm. So now it's loaded in there. It might glitch. I've noticed that it does this sometimes. Well, let's see. So we resync. Okay, so it actually worked this time. Oh no, see it did it. See it's saying generic PLA. So 
Yeah, that's a that's a glitch in the software. Where, what I do, I don't know if you have if you don't have multiple devices, how you would go around this. I click out of it, I click back in it. It'll still show the filaments like I left them, and then when you hit sync this time, see now it actually put off brand. I think what it is is when you mess with the AMS and you don't click out of that device, it, it kind of keeps the last settings that were in there. I don't know. But now it's printing properly, it has the right, you know print profile because what I was having to do is I would you know come here select you know the closest match and then I would have to come back here and select find that print profile that I had created which I deleted already but you know click it and then everything would you know match up but this way this is the proper way to add filaments that way you can add them to your AMS it'll automatically add it and then also another question two people had so see right here I'm slicing it with this color. So if I were to slice the plate, because a lot of people have this question as well as far as what settings are used when when you hit print. And that was a bit confused as well, especially when you don't add the filaments properly, then it could really kind of screw you up if you're using an AMS. Or say you want to switch machines midway through the print and you know you have the right print settings um, and you want to select a different um, AMS. Yeah, it, it's a little bit confusing when you don't add the filament in there properly, but I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so there it is. When you hit print plate, um, the way the G-code was is it used the print profile for this uh, filament. So here, if I were to say, oh, I, I selected the wrong color. I actually wanted the green one. So if I select the green one and then I hit send, uh, I think it will give me an error. I'm going to check right now, but <clears throat> the print profile is going to be based on this filament. Uh, because that's what the G-code sliced up. So if I were to hit send, this filament temperature may not match with this, and you're you're not going to get a good print. So make sure when you slice the settings, I'm sorry, when you slice your model, so we go back to prepare, probably might take a little bit, but make sure that you change your filament to what you're actually doing, or you could do it, you know, here in objects as well. Select your filament, but make sure that the filament that you're going to print it is actually selected. It makes a, you know, it obviously makes a huge difference and it's not just the color. Um, that's your actual print profile. So regardless of what you select, when you hit print plate, the machine's not automatically going to calculate that you selected um, a different filament and adjust the settings accordingly. It, it's going off of the G-code, which the G-code is being generated based on the filament that the model is supposed to be printed at. I don't know how it works if you have different filaments on the different plate, if the nozzle would heat up and, you know, I would have to experiment a little bit more with, uh, with that, but this uh, will definitely get you started and you can experiment with that as you like. But as we wait for this long model, I probably should have just selected a little <laughs> calibration cube, uh, but it gives me time to explain, you know, a lot of these questions that people have. Okay. And I didn't take note, but I'm sure the total time would have changed a little bit because the bamboo filament prints a little bit quicker. But now we hit print plate. It should automatically be selected to the um, to the proper filament. So that's also a benefit of having everything added in there properly and with the right, you know, print profile too. So here, you know, if I were to select a different, um, if I had that same filament in different machines and I were to select this one, you know, then I'd be good, which either way you'd be good because again, the slicer settings is what determines it. So you can change the filament and it, and it doesn't matter as long as it's the proper filament for your settings. And regardless of what you select here, what machine, it, the, the software doesn't care. It's going to print it based on how it sliced it. So hopefully that answered all your uh, questions about filaments and adding them in there. Uh, but if you have any questions, put them down below. I'll be happy to answer them.